Well, hello everyone from PDAC 2022 in beautiful sunny Toronto, Ontario. And I have the great pleasure, I'm Byron King with Investor Intel, by the way, and I have the great pleasure of speaking today with Peter Cashin of Imperial Mining, who is working up a project in Northeast Quebec called Crater Lake. Crater Lake, it's not an asteroid impact, it's not how they killed the dinosaurs. This is a, an old uh, volcano uh, caldera collapse where the, an old volcano expelled the magma, it collapsed, and then it squished up a whole bunch of other stuff around the side so it looks like a, like a crater. But inside that stuff that it mushed up is scandium, the element scandium. Peter, you and I have spoken about this for years, but you know, tell, tell the viewers something about, about what you're doing up there with scandium. Well, uh, thanks, Byron. Uh, it's used as an alloy agent for aluminum, and it, it just in handing very, very small quantities, 0.2 to 0.4%. You can increase the, the mechanical properties of the alloy by 800%, or 800 eight times. And let's do a little visual assistance here to our, our viewers out there. I hold in my hand a chunk of steel, armor steel. This is what you'd find on a, on a battleship, in a tank, something like that. This is classic Carnegie, Illinois uh, armor steel, and it's a nice sort of hefty thing. And it's, it, this costs a few dollars to manufacture. I mean, you, you can make, make a lot of this stuff because it's iron and it's a few, uh, few other additives, but what an alloy. Now I hold in my hand a hunk of titanium. This is a titanium alloy, much lighter than that, but titanium is brittle and it's hard to weld, uh, but you still have a lot of strength out of titanium. That's why it's called titanium after Titan, you know? Now I hold in my hand a piece of scandium aluminum, which is about a third the weight of the other things. We can't do this, can't transmit the weight over the TV show, but here you go. It's much lighter, same mechanical properties, much more weldable. Peter, tell us about this, this miracle metal here with the scandium aluminum alloy. Well, just like I said earlier, the scandium has unusual properties that it, it melds very, very well with aluminum and it has the benefit of adding significant strength to the alloy, makes it more weldable, makes it corrosion resistant, makes it heat resistant, which is important for high temperature applications. And guess what? When you put it into a fighter jet and you take it up to mic 5.6, as opposed to being brittle like titanium with the potential that it could crack, it becomes super plastic, so it actually main, remains flexible. So if I'm building the next generation of advanced aircraft or advanced missile or what have you, I could use this heavy, brittle, expensive titanium, or I could put 0.7% uh, scandium, more or less, into my aluminum alloy and get this incredible strength and, and materials uh, prospects. Is that it? That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, now how much, uh, how much scandium gets produced in the world every day you know, or every year? Right now, uh, it's about 35 tons, not a lot of material. And that because that's the cap of the production levels that, that come out of China and Russia. Uh, China and Russia, that's where we get this stuff from. And, but you happen to be in Canada, so what's the plan? Well, the plan is we've been uh, doing a lot of strategic marketing. We, we know that uh, the consumers, both in the, the military establishment, the automotive industry, the aerospace industry, have been looking for this stuff. They've firmly understood the, the, the benefits of adding small quantities of scandium and what it could do to their manufactured platforms. Um, we, our, our intention is to produce and develop this thing to production to be able to satisfy the, uh, the Western and certainly North American manufacturing market. So you have a deposit, Crater Lake, with Imperial Mining. You have uh, grade and uh, you, have, uh, you, have, uh, you have a resource. What, 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 what are our numbers looking like? What the well, right now we have about 20 million tons in uh, indicated and inferred category at a grade about 200 uh, grams per ton. That's uh, anything above 200 is considered economic mm -hmm. threshold. Uh, we reported that in September and we use that as a basis for a PEA that we just put out yesterday mm -hmm. that's showing extremely strong financial metrics. And when I looked at the map of your region and where, what you control, the acreage you control and the amount that you have drilled up, You've really only drilled up a fraction of what you control. Is that a fair statement? That's about right. We, we've uh, tracked the favorable ring, what they call ring dike uh, complex, mm -hmm. around for about 14 kilometers in strength. Um, uh, this one resource, the 20 million ton resource, is 
300 meters in strike length down about 200 meters vertical and that's it. And we know that that particular system continues on for at least 800 meters and we've modeled it down to a kilometer. So that's one deposit and we have uh, three other deposit areas that we have drilling into, not a resource, but same kinds of grades, same kinds of great thicknesses. We're looking at thicknesses up to 130 meters true thickness, and it comes to surface, so it's going to be inexpensive open pit, oper uh, open pit operation. Well, they told us we shouldn't spend all day talking, although we could. So for the viewers out there, I remind you again, Imperial Mining, uh, Peter Cashin, Scandium, best deposit in North America, immense prospects. And uh, with that, we thank you for watching. Peter, I wish you well. I wish Imperial well in everything that you do. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Byron. Really appreciate it. Thank you.